Biblically speaking, a valley can sometimes be symbolic for a difficult circumstance. But even in the valleys, God is with us. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That's Psalm chapter 23, verse 4. Consider the valley of Elah. This valley is where David confronted and defeated the giant Goliath. And that's found in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 2. This represents the valley of conflict. Think of the valley of Achor. This is the valley where Achan, who hid plunder in his tent, which was a symbol of hidden sin, was stoned to death along with his family. Achan paid a price for his disobedience. The valley where he was stoned was named after him, and that's found in Joshua chapter 7, verse 26. The valley of Achan is the valley of consequence. Then there's the valley of Siddim. Now, Bible scholars debate on the exact location of Sodom and Gomorrah, but those wicked cities were either right in or at least near to the valley of Siddim. The valley of Siddim was also known to have slime pits. This is found in Genesis chapter 14, verses 1 through 3 and verse 10. This is the valley of corruption. The valley of Eskel is where some Israelites decided to settle instead of crossing over into the land that God had promised them. Promising to later join those who would continue on to battle, some made the choice to stay behind. This is recorded in Numbers chapter 32, verse 9. All of us will face this valley, which is the valley of choice. Finally, there's the valley of Kidron. The valley of Kidron was located next to a cemetery. That reference can be seen in 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 6. Graves can be symbolic for death, despair, and heaviness. So, Kidron is the valley of crushing. Now, the promise of the gospel isn't a perfect life of health, wealth, and happiness. Does God prosper His people? Yes. Does God heal? Absolutely. Is the Holy Spirit the source of lasting joy? Of course. But this does not mean that the believer will never travel through the valleys of life. We will face terrifying conflict, harsh consequences, tempting corruption, difficult choices, and character building crushing. But even in these valleys, God is with us. You never have to face conflict without God who fights your battles for you. You never have to endure consequence without grace, which can bring you out of trouble, even trouble you caused for yourself. You never have to stand in the midst of corruption, corrupt systems, corrupt people, without the power to resist the temptation of that corruption. You never have to make a choice without the backing of divine wisdom. You never have to endure crushing tragedies without the comfort of the Holy Spirit who gives you the breath of strength and joy. For you, there is no conflict without protection, no consequence without grace, no corruption without strength to resist, no choice without guidance, and no crushing without joy. Even when you walk through the valley, even there, He is with you. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like this, make sure you're signed up to my emailing list so that I can send you weekly emails with content that will help you to grow spiritually. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.